Stock lodging is often associated with stock rots as a result of stresses on the plant, which can commonly include drought and heat stress, reduced sunlight, reduced leaf surface area due to hail, disease, or insects. There's also insect tunneling on the stock, which can contribute to stock rots. In addition to stress issues resulting from soil fertility, such as reduced nitrogen or potassium. Furthermore, compaction can restrict moisture and nutrient uptake, causing stress. And there are hybrid susceptibilities to various stock rots. Higher plant populations can also result in smaller stock diameters. Stock rots can come in the form of anthracnose, fusarium, gibberella, and diplodia stock rots. The squeeze test is a common method to determine if stock rots are present. And you're looking for stock tissue deterioration in the lower few nodes of the plant. Simply bend down and grab the base of the stock in between the nodes with your thumb and index finger and squeeze. If the plant is suffering from stock rots, it could potentially bend over and break. The process here is to take 20 consecutive plants and do a squeeze test on each of them and calculate how many plants are breaking. If more than 10 to 15 percent of the plants break, that's a sign that this, har this field should be scheduled for early harvest timing and a higher priority in your harvest order. So there we had four out of 20 plants fail under the squeeze test. This field would be scheduled higher in my harvest priority order comparative to other fields. Now I'd like to demonstrate another common method for determining if stock rots are present and if early harvest should occur. This method is referred to as the push test. Simply grab a plant about ear height and push outward about eight to 10 inches to about a 45 degree angle. If the plant kinks over and breaks at the lower nodes, it's a sign that stock rots are present. You wanna do this for 20 consecutive plants in a row. If more than 10 to 15% of those plants kink over and break, that's a sign that this field should be in higher harvest priority order compared to other fields. So in this case, we had five out of 20 plants break under the push test. And this is a note I would make in scheduling my harvest priority among my fields. In summary, to minimize losses from stock lodging, avoid harvest delays. Identify fields which are at the greatest risk and harvest those fields first. Fields which have experienced the most combination of stress factors would be prime candidates for early harvest. And often those fields should be combined at 24 to 26% moisture to minimize potential harvest losses.